Okay, well that came out well. I'm just giving it a good Scotch Bright rub while it's in the uh, tank. You can clearly see all the pitting in the surface. It's definitely been out in the weather a long time. Uh, hasn't quite penetrated the inside, but it looks pretty good. I might give it a little longer, but I think a lot of that stuff was actually oil from when I was trying to get the pulley off. So I'll get the oven cleaner onto that and give it a scrub up outside of the tank and just see how it looks. So I'm going to turn it on the lathe and take all that pitting off. Only trouble is I think it's slightly crowned to keep the flat belt on, so I'm going to have trouble reproducing that slight radius crown on it. But apart from that, this thing will clean up really nice. And then it'll be onto the big housing. I won't do that till next weekend. I just want to babysit this while it runs. I'm not quite comfortable letting it run overnight yet, but once it proves itself and doesn't do anything silly like catch fire, it should be fine. Now, I figured just for the hell of it, I'll just lower it in closer to this anode plate with this face uh, up against it. Just try and burn some of that crap out of the inside, because there is still a bit of deep rust in there. There's a bit of a band about that, that long where the rust's really come off, but it's just diminished as it gets deeper. The current's being attracted to these surfaces here, but not to this deep inside. So I'll stick it right in close against this plate here, and just see what it does. It's a shame I can't have it face down, but it just end up with a gas bubble building up inside there and doing nothing. Alright, let's see how we go. Fans on. Main power's on. Contact. Get bubbles soon. The closer you get to the plate, the more your current drain increases as well. Uh, I don't have DC amp meters available, so I can't tell exactly what's going through it, but a good few amps there. And when it comes to doing the inside of something like this, the best bet is to set up an anode inside it. Remember, this is going to be laying on its face. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is take a 13-inch car wheel, or something fairly small like that, and just make a post which will sit in the bottom there on the base anode plate but I'll also have a mechanical connection going up to that other lug up the top of that anode strap so that way there's a an sacrificial anode sitting inside here in place of a rotor and that'll clean all the insides while the outside gets taken off too